extensive reviews of Transformers, Age of Ascension, Deluxe Class, Autobot, Drift. Now here is Drift, and well, this is the this is the deluxe version of him. This is the wave two of deluxes as they make him this video. Two things I want to say: bad character in the movie, great vehicle and robot mode in toy form. I could not say anything bad about this. This is probably the best, most articulated, most best looking, this all around great figure. But before we talk about him, we're going to talk about the box. So here he is, Abak Drift, Bugatti, very nice. You have Drift in the background, very cool. Here you have the Transformers logo, and again, very nice, the whole white background. A distinction logo. Then you got Slash and Strafe, his Bugatti mode, his robot mode, which, that's pretty cool. And then this is his bio. Now it says that he was a former Decepticon, but they don't mention it in the movie too at all. At least I didn't ever pick it up. So I don't know. But all right. Anyway, we're gonna talk about the figure. So now the figure rolls fantastic. Rolls amazing. This is all around such a beautiful looking car. Like the blue in it, the blue they chose for this is amazing. I mean, painted headlights, painted grill, painted red rims, back taillights are painted. The whole back's painted. Like this paint job is amazing. And then here you got some molding detail in there. So like I said, all around great car. Got all about logo here, but none there. But like I said, very cool looking car. I love this car. Rolls great. Does have does come with four swords. Two of them do get stored top of the roof. If you can kind of see that, and then the other two get stored under here. Now, what I want to tell you: when I first got it, I thought the swords would go under the leg. They do bend a little bit. I mean, if you take, I mean, it's hard plastic, but I feel like eventually it's gonna snap or bend. So I'll keep it on above the feet. And it does still roll great. So here's that, and here he is compared to Crosshair's Corvette. Just to show you. Now I don't know in real life, and this is to tire to tire, or front tire to tire. Just amazing figure. Just the robot mode in this series is just amazing. I do like the robot mode, the vehicle mode. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to put him to the side. And now, we're going to have... We're going to transform. So what first we're going to do is take these swords, unpeg them from there, put them on the side. Now, the transformation for this figure is very... Not technical. It's actually very easy, but the way they did it is amazing. So you want to take these panels, flip them away, and just fold them over the wheel. Next, you want to come over here. You want to lift the roof. And unpeg the roof from the grill. And slide it up a little bit to get clearance. And fold this back. Then, you want to come under here. Come under here. Grab these. Which will then, the spoil will go back. Take the side pieces. Fold them back. In this little section, you fold back. And then you can, you can put them back a little bit more. I keep them further. And separate them. And then those are your legs. Take the arms. Separate them up. You want to pull the arms outwards. I can show you. Pull them outwards like that. Then fold, fold, fold the grill down. Which will reveal the head. And flip the head up. Then we'll come up to the backpack, fold the hood in, come up here, and now this is where the swords get stored in that little hole. Unpeg them, put them on the side, come over here, lift that up, there's a little peg there, a little peg hole in there, line it up, and there you go. There is drift in robot mode. Now with drift you can do one of two things. You can have these panels here, 
And I did some research with samurais, and some samurais had their armor for their arm up. So you can actually do that and have a more of like a sleek looking look. Just this looks amazing. Like you can actually have his arm, like arms have no kibble and have them on top. I like keeping it there because I'm more used to the whole bulky arms in my hands. So like doing this, trying to pose them feels weird. Like that kind of feels more normal to me. And as for screen accurate, I don't remember what his arms look like. So, it's up to you. I like keeping them down. And then these swords actually do get plugged in right in here. And I gotta say, he, in the movie, he only uses these swords, these small ones that stay on his back. And also, if you got the game or the movie, or you see the movie, you see he has four swords sticking up. Now, you must be wondering, well, how do you do that? This is the easiest way I found out is by taking the big swords I mean this is the best way I could come up with I'm sure there's other ways having the big swords sticking the backpack like that and having these and we'll plug peg this and then instead of facing up instead of facing down face up and that's the best way I could come up with trying to display him with all his four swords on his back I mean, that doesn't look right, but whatever. I mean, typically what I'll do anyway is I'll have these little ones on his back and have the big ones in his hands. So I also want to say before I talk about articulation and everything, is I actually did make a stop motion with him. I'm sorry if you hear that. That's my dog scratching. But I did make a stop motion with him and another guy I'm going to compare him to. So anyway, and we can put his swords. Now, if you look at his swords, you, it's really hard to tell which one's the front. There's little little notches here and the peg hole, the peg. I typically keep the peg facing inwards. That's typically what I do. But, I mean, that's it. I mean, look here. Look at the head. Like, the head detail is amazing. The gold on it. I, do, I am a big Drifton fan. I do like swords. So, um, it's typically... So, before I do our articulation, here he is. Here he is compared to... Here he is compared to Deluxe, the first wave Deluxe class Bumblebee. So, as you can see, he's pretty small. And... Here he is... Here he is with Voyager class Optimus. And here he is compared to the short Voyager Hound. So he's a pretty small deluxe, and one more thing, just because I do, like I said, I do like Drift, I do have him, his stop motion buddy that will be coming out very shortly, I am in the middle of working on it, is Generations Deluxe Class Drift. So just to show you, he actually has a little bit ahead of him, he's short. And he's pretty tall. So anyway, so that that's that comparison. And if you want to look, is like because where they got the mold from. If you look at it, the armor pieces are actually pretty cool. Like his head, his head always reminds me of a Gundam, but he does have like the samurai s horns, and he has a samurai crown. But still, just to look at like armor. I don't know. That that's just to show you. So for articulation, he's very articulated in his arms. Got a ratcheted elbow. Rotate the elbow. Arms can go f up and out and 360. And his wrists can m swivel, which does give him the articulation to able to cross his swords. Which in the packaging is what he does. He's able to do this, which is pretty cool. Head, 360. No light piping on it. Or oh, actually, no, I'm wrong. I'm sorry. There is some light piping, if you can see that. I do have some. Legs, not much as the top, but enough. If you turn the legs with it, they kind of do move up by themselves. Like, both of them. But you can hold one. So, in and out on a ratchet. Rotate the 
move up and down and rotate above the knee or above the thigh and not a good knee joint but I guess like a 90 degree and that's it and because of this little then this thing is attached to the bottom part so it does move outwards so if you want to do that but I don't know and then like I said these things you can have them have them stay back up there I typically will keep them down and of course the swords in the back so like I said this guy's very very posable I do I have nothing bad to say about this figure He's just a great figure overall. And I highly, highly recommend him. So if you guys enjoyed this video review, please leave a comment, rate, and subscribe. And also, check out my other Age of Extinction. Check out the playlist, which I will link into the description. And I hope to see you guys soon. Have a good day. Peace.